welcome, welcome, my beautiful friends. Wow. Such a joy to see each of you, your beautiful faces, your glowing hearts. Such a joy to have you all here today. This is our last live tapping experience for the year. So we are going to close this experience out with so much power because I thought about it, like, what am I going to do to wrap up a year? And I thought to myself, what was my biggest learning this year? And for me, my biggest learning was about death, letting go of the past. Uh, this past year for me, I ended a 10 year relationship, got the final closure on that. I moved countries, I moved my house, I changed my circle of friends. There was such a death energy inside my being of letting go. And in the process of going through this, of going through my own mastery with letting go and all of the messiness and all of the tears and all of the process, I realized that in order for us to actually manifest what we want, we have to equally let go of the things that no longer serve us because you can't hold on to the things that no longer serve you while creating this whole new reality, right? And so for me, I had the deep invitation to let go, to surrender all of my holding, all of my grasping and all of my gripping. And I thought this is such an amazing way to close out the year together because we're all about to go on a journey into setting our intentions for the new year. We're going to set our intentions high. We're going to choose what we want to create for ourselves. But in order to manifest those in the new year, we want to have a clean slate. And so today is an opportunity for all of us to clean out whatever we no longer need. And sometimes that can be hard because what we have is sometimes our comfort zone and we think that we need it. But really, if we truly listen deep inside, we know that there's something on the other side of letting go. There's something on the other side of having closure with certain things inside of our lives. So I'm going to show you a process today. And in that process, you're going to do a three-step journey. And a lot of it has to do tonight about forgiving ourselves for all the holding on, forgiving ourselves for not wanting to let go because so much of the time we blame ourselves. Like, I wish I was further along. Or I wish I'd figured this out. So we're going to do a lot of that in the field. And then we're also going to forgive those situations. Perhaps we've been holding on to resentment. Perhaps we've been holding on to energetic ties, psychic cords, things like that. We're going to forgive the situation as well. And then we're going to actually receive more clearly, more fully what we want in our life. So, and at, then at the end of the class, I'm actually going to ask Hannah if you could grab it now so that we have it at the end of the class. I'm going to share a little bit about a program that we're going to open in January and you guys can get on the wait list for that if you want as well. So we're going to have lots of fun. I am going to do a little screen share right now just to show you the overview of what we're going to do today. So this is all about tapping to release the past. And it's broken into three steps. Forgiving ourselves for our, however we've participated in the past experience, whether that's attachments to it, whether that's prolonging it. I know sometimes when I'm really holding on to something um, and I know it's time to let go, I just kind of prolong it because of the discomfort of actually letting go. So we're going to forgive ourselves for all of that. We're also going to forgive anyone else involved in the experience. And then we're going to choose that new intention based on the wisdom gained. You guys are going to get access to this PDF in the replay as well. So you can practice these phrases in your own time. You could also, if you're a tapping coach or if you're a coach of any type, you could use these phrases in your sessions as well. Step one for forgiving yourself. These are some of the sentences that you're going to get to practice today. Even though I'm blaming myself, it's possible I'm worthy of forgiveness. I can blame myself forever or I can choose to let go and move on now. I am worthy of forgiveness. Step two, tapping phrases to forgive the other. Forgiveness does not mean that their actions are justified. Oftentimes, we hold on to resentments. We hold on to psychic connections because we think if we forgive them, it's justifying their actions. So we're going to flip that tonight. We're just going to recognize that forgiveness is all about getting our power back. Uh, by forgiving them, I grant myself freedom. And it's possible they did not know any better. So this is like the phases that we go through with forgiving others. And then we choose a new intention for ourselves, which is the most exciting part of the practice. 
the wisdom that I gained from the experience. So we're all going to gain some wisdom from those things that we're ready to let go of, because once we actually have the wisdom, then we can actually let it go. So much of the time we don't let it go because we haven't integrated the wisdom yet. And that is the final piece. When we've really got it, then it's easier to let go. So then you would say, I'm taking this wisdom with me now and I'm creating. And you would say out loud what you're creating with this new vis wisdom. So that's going to be our journey. It's going to be a really deep dive tonight. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to turn off any distractions and just give yourself this next hour to an hour and a half to you. Think about this whole year that you've been through and this one hour and a half is all about that closure right now, is all about wrapping up whatever you need to wrap up. So really give it to yourself. In the middle of the session, you might start to feel really kind of uncomfortable. You might feel emotional. You might feel triggered. Understand that that is totally normal because I'm asking you to look at your emotions and some of that's going to be uncomfortable. Stick with it rather than like getting swept away with the chat or what other people are doing or even me. Just stay in your process and trust that I'm going to get you through those hard pieces and you're going to get to the other side where you're going to feel all of that freedom and all of that joy. We're going to open up with a little bit of breath work just to get really clear on what it is we want to let go. We're going to get that vision of what we want to let go. We're going to go into the tapping experience. We're going to wrap up with some integration exercises. We'll do a little sharing, a little feedback about our discoveries, and then we will go on our way. So that's going to be the flow for the night. Uh, you do have the chat there. Occasionally, I'm going to ask you questions and you can write your answers in the chat and that will help me understand where you're all at. Um, if I'm not asking questions, just stay with the tapping rather than in the chat because the chat can pull you out of the experience. So I'll tell you when to head on over to the chat and that will help everyone in the group as well. If you ever want to turn off the chat, you can turn it off and just be with me. You can make me big on the screen. You can tap with everyone and see everyone's faces if you want. You have all of those options. Awesome. So to get started, I'm just going to put some music on to get us in the flow with our breath work today. Okay, so let's get ourselves settled into a comfortable position. And we're just going to just feel ourselves grounded, rooted onto the earth right now. And we're gonna create a circle, like we're creating a circle around us right now. So this is gonna create our orbit, our field where we get all of our information from. So we're gonna we're gonna inhale up and then we're gonna exhale down. And we're, when we exhale, we're gonna blow out through the mouth. And as you do this, I want you to imagine that the ball is wrapping all the way around you. So it's creating a circular energy around your field. All right, let's go. And as you go down, I want you to imagine you're picking up all that energy from the root and you're tossing it behind your head as you blow out. And now see if you can pick up the pace, really moving those arms. You can even bring your chest forward as you come. Like your whole spine is stretching open. Really opening up all that channel right now. See if you can pick up the pace. We're gonna do this for 20 more seconds. Keep going a little bit faster. Next one, inhale up and then stretch the arms up tall so you're creating a funnel and imagine all the light pouring down through your crown. Hold the breath. And then we're going to 
face our hands opposite directions and we're going to just brush the field on the left and right and touch either side of the ground or the chair next to your body exhale blow it out inhale pick the energy up again feel all the energy coming through the crown hold the breath exhale blow it out Placing your hands on your chest right now, just feel into this space. Feel into your life right now. Feel into what's coming up in your life that's kind of hard, that's difficult, that's challenging you right now. And feel into that place within your life, that place that's holding on to something that may not be serving you. What is it that you're holding on to that's not truly serving you? Let's be honest right now in this space of true, authentic honesty. What is not serving you in your life? And then go ahead and write that into the chat area for us to all share together. Fear of getting it wrong. Looking for someone to save me. Jealousy, resentment and fear, blame and judgments. Feeling unsafe in the world, betrayal, victimization, staying small, feeling small. I'm not good enough to pull this off. Memory problems, fear of failure taking on other people's problems, grief, not good enough, mess at home, doubt and uncertainty, sadness and guilt. Feeling all of these intentions right now. And I want you to massage underneath your collarbone as you tune into this. And as you tune into that piece that you're ready to finally let go of, I want you to tune into how intense it's been in your life. On a scale of zero to 10, how hard has it been? How much difficulty, how much chaos, how much drama has been created out of this? And how uncomfortable is it for you? And then on a scale of zero to 10, how uncomfortable has that been? Really, if you let yourself feel the discomfort of it, and then go ahead and write that number in the chat and then come back to massaging under the collarbone. We've got some tens and some nines and some eights, sevens. So we're going to give ourselves permission now to feel all of the emotions that are there. The more we give ourselves permission to lean into those emotions, the more we can actually start to clean and clear them out. So let yourself have full permission to feel them tonight. We're going to bathe them in love. Tap in the center of the chest and repeating after me. Part of me really wants to let go of, and tell me what you want to let go of. Say that out loud now. Part of me really wants to let go of, tell me what that is. Tapping between the brows. Part of me really wants to let go of, tell me what that is. Tapping the temples because it's been creating what? What has it holding onto this been creating for you? I want you just to explain out loud, voice it out loud, what's been happening as a result of holding onto that, of carrying that with you, that habit, that relationship, that perspective. Just go on a little rant right now. It's been creating, tell me what it's been creating. Tapping the cheeks 
and it's been making me feel what what's it been making you feel what are the top 3 limiting emotions it's been making me feel say those limiting emotions out loud it's been making me feel and let's move away from the chat now and let's feel those feelings happening underneath the nose it's been making me feel say that out loud happening underneath the lips i've been feeling really tell me what you've been feeling about and tell me what that habit is or what that pattern is or what you've been holding on to up in the center of the chest and it's not serving my life anymore. It's actually blocking the flow of my power. And part of me is afraid of letting it go. Up in the front of the ribs and another another part of me really wants to let this go. Take a long, slow, deep breath into everything that you're feeling around it right now. Feel the sensation, feel the energy in your body, feel how it's been trapped in your life, how it's been affecting you. Feel the emotions coming up around it. Take a big, deep breath in and release a big sigh. Ah. Good. Tapping the side of the ribs. It's been making me feel. Tell me what it's been making you feel. Tapping the side of the wrist, and it's been really disempowering. It's been creating. Tell me what it's been creating. Tapping the side of the thumb, and what else has it been creating? It's also been creating what? Tell me what else there is. Tapping the next finger, and it's understandable. I've been really struggling here. Tapping the middle finger, and I've been feeling. What have you been feeling? overwhelmed, scared, rejected, hurt, worried, hopeless, helpless. It's understandable I've been feeling stay your emotion. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger and it's understandable I've been stuck here. And I wish I wasn't stuck here. but i've been stuck here a really long time and part of me really wants to be free of this take a long deep breath in release a big sigh ah beautiful tapping the little finger i love and deeply accept myself tapping the side of the hand exactly as i am tapping the top of the head even though this has been really hard tapping between the brows it's possible i'm still worthy of love tapping the temples and i can look at this more deeply now Take a big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Oh. Tapping the cheeks. It's possible I can look at this more deeply now. Having underneath the nose, I'm in a safe place to bring love here. 
happening underneath the lips i can bring love to and tell me the pattern that you've been holding on to i can bring love to tell me what that is Because it's worthy of my love. Tap in the center of the chest. This is worthy of my love. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Release the big sigh. tapping the front of the ribs this is worthy of my love name the pattern again out loud this pattern of tapping the side of the ribs this pattern of say what that is is worthy of my love and care Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the side of the wrist, and I'm in a safe place to look at this. Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible if I look at it more deeply. Tapping the next finger. I can heal this once and for all. Take another big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the middle finger. I'm ready to look at this now. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I'm ready to look at this pattern of, tell me what that is. Tapping the little finger and however long I've carried it with me. For however long this has been in my family line. Tapping the side of the hand for however long I've carried this story that I can't let it go. It's possible I can give it a shot. And I can take my time and look at this right now. Big, deep breath in, big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the top of the head. Okay, you guys ready to go a little deeper with me now? Give me a little thumbs up if you are. Okay, great. So I want you to tune into this habit, this, this thing that you haven't been letting go of. This thing that's holding you back in the past and not allowing you to actually move forward. Tapping between the brows. And I want you to tune in to the earliest memory right now. The first one that pops up where you are holding a similar pattern where this pattern was existing earlier on, or when you first remember feeling a similar way around this topic. So for example, if you have a pattern of staying in a relationship too long, that's abusive, and you might've grown up in an abusive house and your mum never left, for example, right? And you have those same feelings like, I just don't have a choice, I just have to be here. So there's certain things that we pick up earlier on in life. Tapping the temples. So what is the earliest memory you have of feeling a similar way? And the first one that pops up, sometimes we can't go all the way back to childhood because we have a lot of numbed out memories. So whatever the memory is that pops up right now, let's start there. Even if it was just a year ago, let's start there. 
however far back you can go. Tapping the cheeks. This reminds me of, what does it remind you of? I want you to describe that earlier memory right now. This reminds me of, tell me what that is. Tapping underneath the nose. And the worst part about that memory was what? What was the worst part about that memory for you? Say it out loud. The worst part about that memory was what? Tell me what that was. Tapping underneath the lips. That's when I really started to doubt myself. That's when I started to think I wasn't good enough. That's when I started. And what was the limiting habit that you picked up then that you've been carrying with you? That's when I started. What did you start doing in that situation? Go ahead and write that in the chat and then come back to tapping with me. Tapping the center of the chest. That's when I started, speak it out loud. And I've been doing that for a really goddamn long time. I have been, tell me what you've been doing ever since that earlier memory. I have been, say it out loud. For a really long time. Having the front of the ribs and part of me has been blaming myself for it. Part of me has been putting myself down. and thinking I'm not good enough and thinking what? What did you start thinking as a result of that? I started thinking, tell me what thoughts came from it. Tapping the side of the ribs and I've been disempowered ever since. Take a long, deep breath into all that feeling, everything that came up in that memory right now. Just hold it in some compassion, hold it in some love right now. Hold it in some understanding. You just didn't know better. You didn't have the right support you needed. Take a big, deep breath into all that feeling. Hold it in love. Release a big sigh. tapping the side of the wrist it's possible I was worthy of love tapping the side of the thumb it's possible I was worthy of support tapping the next finger what did you need in that situation that would have helped you feel empowered that would have helped you understand your truth, that would have helped you feel aligned, connected to the source, to the beauty, to the wonder, to the gift that you are, that would have helped you feel safe, that would have helped you feel strong and courageous. What did you need in that situation that would have helped you? Tapping the next finger. I really needed, tell me what you really needed, say it out loud. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I really needed, say what you really needed out loud. Tapping the little finger. I really needed, tell me what you needed. Tapping the side of the hand, but I didn't get it. 
I really needed, what did you need in that situation that would have helped you? Tapping the top of the head, but I didn't get it. And part of me started to think I wasn't worthy of it. Tapping between the brows, part of me started to believe I had to play games to get it. Tapping the temples, part of me felt like I needed to prove myself to get it. Tapping the cheeks, part of me started to believe it was just too hard. That I should just play small or settle for less. Tapping underneath the nose or shrink my light. And I've been doing that a long time. And just feel into all the years that this habit that you want to let go of has been happening in your life because of that moment of disempowerment. Take a big deep breath in and release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping underneath the lips. I forgive myself for how hard this was. Tapping the center of the chest. I forgive myself for believing. What did you start to believe about yourself or the situation as a result of it? I forgive myself for believing. Say what that is. Tapping the front of the ribs. I forgive myself for believing. Tell me what that is. I forgive myself for believing. Tell me what that is. It's possible it's not true. Take a big deep breath into that. Release a big sigh. Ah. Ah. Beautiful. Tapping the side of the ribs. What I really needed was what? What did you really need in that situation? Say it out loud right now. Tapping the side of the wrist and it's possible I was worthy of it. It's possible I was worthy of, what were you worthy of in that situation that you were not getting? Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible I was worthy of. Say it out loud. Tapping the next finger. And I've always been worthy of. Tell me what that is out loud right now. Tapping the next finger. I've always been worthy of. even though I never got it before. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger, it's possible I was worthy of it. Even though they never gave it to me. Take a big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful, tapping the little finger. It's possible I was worthy of. Tell me what you were worthy of back then. Tapping the side of the hand, even though I never got it. I was worthy of it. Tapping the top of the head, and I've always been worthy of it. And I am ready to receive it now. 
And I'm done with playing games. Having between the brows, I'm done with thinking I have to prove myself. I'm done with the struggle. I am worthy of, tell me what you are worthy of, say it out loud. I am worthy of, say it again. Take a big, deep breath into all of that. Stretch open the mouth, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. I am worthy of, tell me what that is. Tapping the cheeks and it's possible. I can finally allow it in. It's possible I am worthy of allowing it in. Tapping underneath the nose, even though I've never fully done it before. Tapping underneath the lips, I'm going to allow it in now. I'm worthy of allowing what in? What are you worthy of allowing into your life that you needed back then? Go ahead and write it in the chat and then come back to tapping. I am worthy of allowing what in? And I can allow this in now. Take a long, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the front of the ribs. I can allow this in now. Okay, let's do this together then. Tapping the side of the ribs. Come back to tapping after you've written it down. I want you to imagine that earlier time in your life where you weren't getting that, where the person or the people in your life weren't showing it to you, didn't know how to give it to you, where you were struggling to get it, where you started to doubt your worth around it, where you started to think it was impossible. I want you to see that now. And I want you to see the, that painful part again, where you started to shut down, where you started to pick up that habit of not moving forward, of shrinking your life, of hiding, thinking you're not good enough. I want you to feel that right now. Tap on, on the wrist here. Feel that most painful part right now. Take a big, deep breath in and release a big sigh. Ah, I am worthy of receiving. Say what it is again. And I'm bringing it in now. Tapping the next finger. So as you tune into that really painful part right now, that part where you really shut down, I want you to feel it in your body. What texture is it? Is it heavy? Is it prickly? Is it oozy? Is it festering? Is it prickly? Is it metallic? What does it feel like in your body in that moment of shutdown? Tapping the opposite side of the next finger as you lean into that right now, that really discomfort, that moment. Feel into that high impact. And in that moment where you got really shut down, where you really stopped believing in yourself. I want you to imagine in that moment that you open your eyes just for a moment because you see a bright light in the corner of the frame. And you just look over to that bright light and it's so bright. And you let your eyes adjust to that bright light and you see that it's your future higher self. And they have so much love and compassion and understanding and care 
and they're so happy to see you and they just love you so much. And you see all of their love over there watching what you just went through, all of that discomfort, all of that shutdown, all of that negativity that you just absorbed. And I want you to see your higher self walk over to that earlier version of you right now. And I want you to feel the glow of their energy and the glow of their love and compassion right now. And I want you to see them get down on your level and just give you the greatest hug, holding you in all their empathy and all of their care in that moment. Feel all of their love surrounding you in that moment. Take a deep breath into their love and release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the little finger. I'm receiving this love from my higher self now. because I'm worthy of that. My higher self is there with me in that moment. My higher self is holding me in love in that moment. And feel all of their care, all of their love, just holding you in that moment. Feel any discomfort that's there for you. Just feel the love coming in and holding you deeper, loving you more, holding you in more care, holding you in more compassion, so much empathy for all that pain that you just went through. Feel all of the love coming in right there. Feel it touching the wound and softening the wound and feeling more and more love and softness right there in the pain. Take a big, deep breath into it. Release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the side of the hand. And they're looking at you in the eyes right now. And they have a message for you right now that they want to share. What do they want to tell you in that moment? They're telling me, say the message that they're telling you out loud right now. They're telling me, tell me what they're telling you. And it's possible it's true. Tapping the top of the head. They're telling me, what are they telling you right now? Say it out loud. Good, yes. They're telling me, what is their message to you in that moment? I wanna hear it. I want you to voice it with the power of your heart right now. They're telling me. And it's possible it's true. Having between the brows, it's possible it's true that. Tell me what that is. Tapping the temples, it's possible it's true that. Say it again. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the cheeks. I can let this sink in now. And I forgive myself for not believing this before. And I'm also open to forgiving those jerks who made me believe it. It's possible they didn't know any better. 
it's possible they didn't receive the love, support or safety that they needed as a child. Tapping underneath the nose, it's possible they didn't know how to show up in love. Because no one showed up for them with love. And we've all been struggling with this same issue. Having underneath that, the lips and tune into that habit or that pattern that you've been afraid to let go of. And see how that person also in the picture with you also struggled with that same pattern, afraid to let that go as well. And that this has been passed down through generations of pain. And that everyone has been holding themselves back because they didn't get the love and support they needed. Take a big, deep breath in and release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the center of the chest. I'm open to forgiving myself and the name whoever else has been involved. For not knowing how to move on from this. For feeling scared in the same way. I'm letting this tug of war go now. The tune in to however there has been an energetic or psychic tug of war between you and them and anyone else in your life around this issue. Feel how there's that psychic tug of war between you and them energetically in the field. Oh, feel that right now. Feel that psychic tug of war that's there. Feel how intense that has been, that psychic tug of war. Take a big, deep breath in and release a big sigh. Ah. Take another big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. I'm forgiving myself and I'm forgiving and just name anyone else that you just want to release right now. Anyone else that needs to be released, anyone else that you've been having this psychic contract with, anyone else where there's energetic hooks, anywhere else that you've been feeling you need to prove something or convince something or get something right. Feel all into those energetic hooks right now. This is that moment right now where you release them and you release yourself. Feel into anything that you've been holding on to, trying to prove yourself, trying to convince. Because if you have to prove or convince, it's not worth it. Because you are already worth it. And you don't need to prove yourself. So tune into any psychic energies there right now. Feel them in the field, feel into any gripping that's there. Like, I need to hold on to this. I can't let this go. I need this habit. I need this. Feel into the holding right now. Tap in the front of the ribs. I can hold on to this as long as I want to. I never have to let go of what? What is it that you're holding on to? What's holding it together? Say it out loud. I never have to let go of. Tapping the side of the ribs. I can hold on to. Tell me what it is that you're holding on to. For the rest of my life. If I want to. Tapping the side of the ribs. I never have to let go of what is that pattern? What is that habit? What is that angst? What is that hook? What is that energy? I never have to let go of, tell me it. Tapping the side of the thumb and I want you to imagine now holding on to that. 
for another five years. If you keep that destructive habit, if you keep that holding you back in the past, if you keep that self-sabotage, if you keep that disempowerment, imagine what your life looks like in one, two, three, four, five years if you keep doing that. Where are you in five years? probably in a very similar place to now. Tapping the next finger, I want you to imagine now holding onto it for 10 years. What haven't you manifested? Tapping the next finger, now imagine 20 years still repeating that same loop just like your ancestors. Who have you become or who have you not become? What have you manifested and what have you repelled away from you because of this? I want you to describe what's happened in 20 years from now if you keep holding that. I am tapping the opposite side of the next finger. And what does that feel like? in your body? What are the three most limiting emotions that you're carrying around with you and feeling on a regular basis as a result of holding on to that? It makes me feel, tell me what that makes you feel. And I can hold this to the day I die if I want to. I can hold on to, tell me what you, you're prepared to hold on to. Tapping the little finger until the day I die, if I want to. I can hold on to, tell me what that sabotage is. Tell me what that pattern is. Tell me what that shrinking is, that safety move, that protection move. I can hold on to, say what it is. To the day I die if I want. But I want to let it go. Up in the side of the hand. I want to let it go. I want to let it go. I want you to feel this. I want you to call it forth from the power of your spirit. I want to let it go. Call it in. I don't want to carry this for eternity. And I am safe to release it now. Tapping the top of their head. I am safe to let it go now. I am safe to let it go now. I am safe to let this go now. I am safe to let this go now. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping between the brows, take another big, deep breath, release a big sigh. Ah, tapping the temples, another big, deep breath, release a big sigh. Ah, tapping the cheeks. I can let this go now. It's time. Tapping underneath the nose. It's possible I'll feel more empowered if I do. It's possible I'll have more energy if I do. Tapping the center of the chest. It's possible I'll feel more free if I do. 
Take a big, deep breath into all that you've been carrying. Release a big sigh. Ah. Good. Tapping the front of the ribs. I'm safe to let this go. Tapping the side of the ribs. I'm safe to let this go. Tapping the side of the wrist. It's possible I can create. What can you create if you actually fully let this go? What's available to you on the other side of this? It's possible I can create. Tell me what that is out loud. It's possible I can create. Tell me what's on the other side. Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible I'll feel lighter and happier. It's possible I'll feel what? What positive emotions are on the other side of fully, fully letting this go? It's possible I can feel what are the top three positive emotions available there for you if you fully let this go? Tapping the next finger. It's possible I can feel... If I fully let go of, tell me what it is. And I am ready for that. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. Take another big, deep breath in. Release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Tapping the side of the little finger. I'm ready to create. Tell me what you're ready to create. Tapping the side of the hand. It's possible this could be way more fun than I think. Good. And I am doing this for all the future generations. I am doing this for all the goddamn future generations. This pattern stops here. This is your mother's blessing. And I am choosing what? What are you choosing instead that empowers you and your lineage now? Take a big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ha! Tapping the top of the head. I'm forgiving the past. And I'm moving forward now. Tapping between the brows. And I want you to tune into any final parts right now. Any holding of the past. Any judgment of the past. Any attachments to the past right now. This is your final moment to hold it all in love and to finally set it free right now. Take a big deep breath into any final holding. Hold that holding in love. Knowing that it is safe to fully dissolve in the arms of your beautiful love right now. Take a big deep breath in. Release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. I've got this. Tapping the cheeks. I'm stepping into something new now. I'm creating something new now. Tapping underneath the nose. I get to create. And what do you get to create with your life force now? I want you to say it out loud. I get to create. Say it out loud. Having underneath the lips. And this could be really fun for me. Because it's why I'm here on the planet. I'm stepping into this liberation now. Having the center of the chest. This is why I'm here. I'm stepping into this full embodied freedom now. 
Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Take another big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. in the front of the ribs I get to create what do you get to create with all this extra energy now because anything that you were stuck in the past with was draining you now you have all this extra resource all this extra power to surge forward into your life to create with with your life all this extra energy so imagine all this energy coming into your life right now all of this energy that was stuck in the past coming in through the back of you out into your future i want you to imagine all that power that was caught back there coming into your full power now and what do you get to create with that full power i get to create say it out loud tapping the side of the ribs i get to create Woo! <laughs> Having the side of the wrist, I get to create. Say it out loud. Oh, I finally get to create. What do you get to create? Having the side of the thumb, and I have so much power guiding it. I have so much life force ready to pour into it. Having the next finger, I get to create. Having the middle finger. And what are the top three positive emotions when you get to have that? What gets to cre be created through you? What are the top three positive emotions that you feel as that's happening? It makes me feel, say those top three emotion, positive emotions. Having the opposite side of the next finger. It makes me feel, what is it? Yes. It makes me feel, what are those three positive emotions that are coming out of you? Having the little finger, I've got this. This is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this now. Now I want you to imagine a year from now that you've fully created this in your life. That this is manifesting, that there is rainbows of this energy circulating through your relationships, through your endeavors, that it's touching all and everything that you are. What has happened in your life as a result of that one year from now? Feel that, close your eyes, see a year into the future as this new energy that's surging through you is coming out. What's happening in your life? Feel it, see it, imagine it with your mind's eye. Beautiful. Tapping the top of the head. I am. Describe what's happening a year from now. Yeah. And then go ahead and write that in the chat area for all of us to see. We want to see what this energy is creating in your life. I am. And then go ahead and say them out loud. What is it? What's physically happening on a physical level? So if you're free, what's happening physically that makes you feel free? Creating my own story. Beautiful, Melanie. Tapping the temples. Love, joy, freedom. What's happening in your relationships? What's happening in your careers? What's happening in your self-love, in your health, in your vitality, in your wealth, in your prosperity? What's happening in your world? I am, I want you to describe it in detail right now. Beautiful, got a house and dating. Beautiful, free to be me, hallelujah. Free, yes. Hosting women's gatherings, loving relationship, pregnant, birth, yes. No longer weighed down by shame or fear. So Rosario, what's the positive of that? What's the opposite of being weighed down by shame? Is it that you were liberated 
in your body you're liberated in your soul what is that earning a lot in my business how much ye let's get specific and when that's happening what are those top 3 positive emotions this is making me feel say it out loud having underneath the lips this feels really top 3 positive emotions good 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 yeah having the center of the chest this is making me feel oh my god okay i want you to feel all of those good feelings right now And now I want you to do something amazing with me. I want you to feel what it feels like in your body when you're having this success, when you're having this win, when you're having this full-blown embodied expression. I want you to feel what that feels like in your body right now. What's the texture of it? Is it light? Is it bubbly? Is it soft? Is it sensual? Is it opening? What does it feel like in your body? Feel it. Feel it in your physical body. Feel it in your aura. Feel it in your energy. Feel that energy. and now expand how good it feels by 50%. Enhance the goodness. Enhance how good it feels those sensations by 75% like oh can it feel this amazing? And then enhance it by 100% like wow it is overflowing now. Feel that overflow of how good that feels. you that overflow coming from the source of your being right now feel how good that feels lean into it let yourself feel the goodness right now take a big deep breath into it release a big sigh ah having the front of the ribs and what What is a positive thought that comes with this? I believe what? What do you believe about your reality in this? I believe say it out loud. And I am creating what? What are you creating? And I'm having so much fun with it. Yes you are. Take a big deep breath into all that fun and release a big sigh. Ah. Now I want you to tap all over your body right now and I want you to say 10 affirmations out loud around what you're creating, what that feels like. how good it is what you're worthy of. Tap all over your body right now. I want you to say them out loud. Beautiful. Keep going. Yes. Woo 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 woo. Nice one. What else? Oh. Yes. Beautiful. What else? Beautiful. Take a big deep breath in. Release a big sigh. Ah. Okay, now we're going to do something really fun. I'm going to give you all an opportunity in a moment to unmute yourself. And what we're going to do, it's called laughter tapping. So we're going to laugh for no reason. We're just going to laugh. And laughter tapping helps generate all those happy hormones whether it's a proper laugh or a fake laugh. So we're going to get the benefits regardless. You're going to pump happy hormones into your system right now. You can laugh at me, you can laugh at other people. If you have trouble laughing, you can make the syllables ho ho ha 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 he he he. Okay? Everyone do that once more. Ho ho ha 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 he he he. Okay, so you have it. All right, let me unmute us all and we're going to do 2 minutes of laughter and really go for it, okay? Let's see. Okay, you can go ahead and unmute now. Ready, set, go. Okay. <laughs> 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 Ha 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 
the goodness that life has to offer, to magic and friendship and a new path filled with light and love. Yes to me being authentic, to reclaiming. Yes to my new business, comfortable in my own skin, to abundant love, trust and connection for out of it right now um if you would like to write now write in what did you start with at the start of the class what was your level of intensity and where is it now what is the number now lena zero michelle zero alana two eight to a zero emma beautiful it was a nine ten now it is a three out of ten Zero, 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 one, zero, one, two, zero, two, 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 one, zero. Congratulations, my love. Congratulations to each of you for committing yourself to doing this deep alchemy within yourself and to knowing that you can shift these with your love and that it is the love that helps melt it all back into your true nature. Congratulations, each of you. I'm gonna give an opportunity for a couple of people to share now. And the beautiful thing about sharing is we integrate the wisdom, not only for ourselves, but it is an offering to our community because the wisdom that we're gaining by sharing our authenticity, by sharing our experiences, it not only shows everyone that they're not alone in their healing process, but it also shows them the wisdom that you're gaining, which is always a wisdom that they're also gaining. Yay, my loves. So this has been such a special time to be with you all. It's been such a beautiful year. I know that so many of you that have been tapping throughout the year with me, we've all been on such a deep journey together. And if you've just started tapping with me, I know that you've also probably had a big journey this year because life is big, you know, we're healing intergenerational pain, we're healing childhood trauma, we're healing patterns of rejection. There's so much when we show up for our evolution that we get to transform. And just by showing up for this call, you're showing up for your evolution. So it's my deepest honor to be with you. We actually do have a really beautiful program opening up in January. If you are interested in doing deeper work and a deeper dive with me, we're opening up a seven week program called the personal peace process. And it is such a profound journey it's one of the things that I did when I first started tapping as well I was introduced to it where we go through the first 21 years of our life and we map out all of the significant memories that could be affecting us in our life today and we basically we go back and we heal the past and that way we can manifest more easily because what we want to do, we want to create a life of our deepest desires. And the quickest way to do that is to clear out the blocks in the subconscious. Because when all of those memories are healed, we're like a clean slate to the universe. All we need to do is to throw one pebble into the pond and the ripples come out. And so, and they touch all of creation and we're able to create a life much more gracefully and easefully because we don't have all that stuff holding us back. So this is one of our signature programs. You guys can click the link there. Hannah will leave it in there. It's opening up in January. Hop on the wait list and we'll let you know as more details come out. Um, and we're going to continue with these live tapping experiences as well every couple of weeks. So tell your friends, keep joining this community. Thank you for encouraging everyone. Thank you for sharing your love. 
And I look forward to seeing you all in the new year. Have a beautiful Christmas. So many blessings to each of you. And uh, we'll celebrate in the start of January. Okay, bye for now. Love you.